It's been raining ever since we were at the junkyard this afternoon, and um, I ended up taking a nap, dude. It is um 1.30 a.m., and I'm out here in the garage actually working on my CRX because I'm kind of crazy and I can't sleep anymore. So I got my catch can mounted. Check out that. Ooh, boy, she's looking nice. And what's going on down here? <laughs> okay, so... So, 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 let me not, let, let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. For those of you did, that didn't see the previous video, this is a D16 Z6 valve cover that Big Bird actually um, took to his homie, Mr. Lexmark up in the high desert. Mr. Lexmark is a TIG welder and he's a pretty damn good TIG welder. He took this stock valve cover, he closed up that bung, underneath it, he deleted the stock baffle and actually added his own baffling system. And then he welded two dash eight bungs to it. I have some dash 10 adapters on them. You'll see why. And then I got a little carried away and ended up polishing her out. And she looks like this now. She's pretty damn tarnished because I've been like all over it with my gloves and stuff, guys. But like just a quick little buff and she'll be shining again. But once more, a big shout out to Big Bird and Mr. Lexmark for getting us set up on this valve cover. This is actually going to be the key part of our catch can setup. So check this out. My catch can is actually mounted kind of crudely. I'm gonna clean up this bracket. I'm thinking about taking the flap disc to it, rounding it out, rounding it out and painting all of this black, painting the bracket black and the bolt black. But like basically, I had to get pretty creative with the catch can and how I wanted it set up because I ended up converting the bottom of it to another dash 10. This is the little brass fitting that's supposed to go on the bottom of the catch can. And basically there's an A10 to um, NPT, I think that is. And then we have that line tucked underneath our engine mount going all the way back there to the back of the block. Can you see that? So now our block is gonna be able to breathe into our catch can. And I didn't even install my black PCV box at all. Instead, I left that big hole gaping open and I eventually found a cool product on eBay. Check this out, boys. So you guys might wanna get this as well. Um, it's a little AN10. But if you look on that side, it has two O-rings. And this guy basically just squeezes into that hole that your black PCV box leaves. And it even has a little tab to bolt it down with the 10 millimeter bolt. The way I'm routing this catch can is not genuinely recommended because you can build up a lot of water and condensation inside of the lines and the catch can itself. And you could get chalky milk oil, but like we live in freaking California and yeah, it is freaking thunderstorming like crazy right now, but like typically that's not the case. And I do drive the piss out of my cars. So <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna have that issue, but if we do have some chalky milk issues in the future, it might be because of the way I'm setting up the catch can. Do I recommend setting it up like this? No, not yet, but this is my vlog about my build for the car and this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna see if that works out or not. But as for the top two breathers, we need to make those AN lines right now. So let's do that. This is the hose that is provided with the kit and it is actually a pretty damn nice hose. It's a good AN10 hose, good for oil. It's not PTFE, but we don't need it to be. And they actually give you a bunch of these fittings. So you get two of each, you get two 45s, two 90s, and you get two straights. And I ended up ordering my own straights because I need a couple more straights for the way we're setting up the can. But check this out, boys, it's about to get cool.
boom, and line. <laughs> wow. Okay, I made that one by hand. Arms are kind of on fire right now, but um, it wasn't too hard. You don't need nothing fancy to do this, just need a little bit of patience. You're starting to see the vision of you're finally seeing the vision that I have here. Like and subscribe right now, boys. Give this video a big thumbs up for me, please. I'm loving this. The catch can really, really completes the look of my bay. Wow, dude. I knew that doing the lines last and having them drape over everything was the way to go. That looks so good. Like, I don't know. I was just staring at it. And I was looking at all this extra space we have above the intake manifold and I was like, bro, we need to use that. The original idea was that I was gonna run 90s and I was actually gonna run the lines parallel to the fuel lines and we were gonna go like that. But um, no, I like this way better. Let me know what you guys think about the way I routed my catch can lines. Let me know what you guys think about this catch can installation. Let me know what you guys think about the junkyard run we had this morning. Um, yeah, dude, wow. <laughs> the car's starting to look freaking awesome, dude. If you're excited, please, 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 please give this video a thumbs up. But if you want to catch, if you want to pick up this catch can, if you want to catch a deal on this great catch can, um, it's right here. Max Speeding Rods. This is a Max Speeding Rods product, and this was a Max Speeding Rods sponsored video. This was a Max Speeding Rods provided product. So thank you so much, guys, for always being a part of this build and for contributing so many parts to this car. Like, it's been amazing, dude. And, like, without Max Speeding Rods, we definitely wouldn't be looking like this, baby. Wow. <laughs> so if you guys want to pick up one of these Max Speeding Rods catch cans, they're only $75. But if you use discount code SAVE the EFs, you get a little bit extra off. I think it comes out to like 63, 64. Dylan actually bought this kit for himself and he actually has this kit installed on his own car. Dylan spent his own money on this. He used discount code save the EFs, just like you guys. It wasn't provided to him. And he is very, 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 very happy with the kit. So what is that guy down there, guys? Um, this kit actually comes with a little brass fitting that you're supposed to be running on the bottom of the catch can. It's this guy right here, okay? Because the way it works is the catch can catches all of your oil and you're supposed to, you know, drain it out into like a little cup down here and then, you know, probably throw it back into the engine. But the problem that I ran into was that when you install the catch can and you do the two lines and all of that, that's all great and everything. The idea about running the catch can is that we're trying to take all of the um, crankcase ventilation gases out of the engine and, you know, like let them escape. We don't want to recycle them through the engine. We don't want to be running that dirty gas back through the engine. And that's something that we're trying to accomplish with the catch can. All of that sounds great, except for we still had our stock PCV box on the back of the engine and that was still hooked up to the intake manifold. And that was still going to be choking the engine out on all of its own farts. So we had to do something about that, right? After some scrolling on eBay, um, I found this. This is 
a block adapter or a block fitting. This basically takes the place of that PCV valve in the back of the block. I actually ordered two of these because they're so cheap. They're only 13 bucks. And I gave one to Big Bird for helping us out with our valve cover. So big shout out to him. But um, this fitting basically goes into that hole that the PCV box leaves behind on the block. You use this little bracket to bolt it into place. That way it doesn't have anywhere to go. And then from there, it's an AN 10 line. As you can see, we have an AN 10 line running all the way down there going behind the block. There's our engine harness and there's our AN line. And that is actually connected right there next to the oil filter, as you can see. I hope you guys can see. It's right there. It's right there, boys. <laughs> And the idea that I have, the logic that I have is that, you know, when we're actually doing a pull, when we're in boost, when we're making power, this engine is going to be breathing. It's got two AN10s on top and one AN10 on the bottom. And it's basically just going to be pushing that crank gas out through that little filter and it's going to be breathing. But then once we calm down, once we fall out of boost, once we're in idle, once we're in that ultra lean mode, hoping that will allow the oil that builds up into the catch can to drain back into the block and, you know, eventually back into the oil pan. I'm, I'm assuming that's how it's gonna work out because that's the way it works when you're running an oil water separator. Only reason it's not recommended to run your catch can like this is because you can get condensation in the lines, you can get water in the lines, and you can get chalky milk inside of your oil, you know what I mean? And you don't wanna have that brown doo-doo looking oil at all because you know, you don't want water inside of your engine. But um, I don't think we're gonna worry about that because one, we live in California, and two, I'm gonna be driving this car all the time, dude, every single day, every, 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 every single day. I'm never gonna have, like, I'm never gonna let condensation build up in the lines or anything like that. And if we do have a problem with it, if we do have like blown head gasket looking oil, We'll know where to look, you know what I mean? But um, this is not the recommended way to run the catch can. The recommended way to run the catch can is to just have a little valve down here and drain it. The reason I'm doing it like this is because I wanted to delete my PCV system and I also couldn't find a three bung catch can. I wanted a round catch can, but I didn't want that like rectangle one and I couldn't find one with three bungs. So this was a solution. The way we did the bottom was we actually found an adapter to actually turn the bottom into, an, into, into another AN10 male fitting and you know, just made the freaking AN lines. Oh, and another thing about this kit, dude, is that this is a CRX, right? And like, I don't know if that's the way you guys would have routed your lines, but that's what made most sense to me. I actually made three lines and I still have enough for another line, dude. Like this is actually more than enough for one of my lines. Like this is longer than both of these guys. I could probably remake the bottom one as well. Like they give you a lot of line, dude. Like if you guys don't know, a and line is not cheap, dude. So for like 70 bucks to get all of the crap that you get here, fittings, Fittings, even cheap fittings are at least 12 bucks, especially a 90 degree, a 45 degree, anything that's really straight. Straights, eight bucks each probably. It's a really good deal. Big shout out to Max Speeding Rods for putting that little deal together. That might be one of my favorite products for Max Speeding Rods now. I really, really like the traction bar. Really, really like the traction bar. Really like that catch can now. That looks absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> All right, boys, I'll see y'all later. It is my mom's birthday today. It is. March 22nd now. Um, I don't know when I posted this video, but as you guys know, I've been a little MIA. It's because I'm working on the content quality. I don't, okay, so YouTube works off of consistency. You need to keep on posting video after video after video after video. And like with the way life works for me, dude, it's like, oh, it's a little stressful. I, you know, I kind of get on a ball and I get rolling and everything gets, is going good. But then like something messes up here. We're making a video and oh man, we need another part or we got the wrong part or something broke. And we got to wait like three or four days for that to come in through the mail. And then, you know, by the time we get what we need and we finish the video, I've kind of already lost my train of thought. And I'm already like recording something else because I'm just trying to get content out, you know, and things become a mess. I have been working very hard to simplify stuff because like I get overwhelmed so easily, dude. I get overwhelmed so easily nowadays. I don't know why, but I'm trying to make my life a little easier. I'm trying to make my life make sense. And um, I'm trying to just 
gain a grasp on everything. So I'm slowing down. I'm focusing a lot on TikTok. I'm honestly just trying to get like 10,000 followers on TikTok or something, and then I'm going to try to funnel them all here. <laughs> but um, in the meantime, I'm making videos. I'm still recording every day, and I am editing and like, you know, honestly just trying to up the quality of our content. The next time you guys see a video, we're probably going to be driving, dude. We're probably going to be done with this car by the time you guys see a video. So um, let's do it. Pick up this Max Speeding Rods catch can kit if you need a catch can. Um, I'll see y'all later. Bye.